Ladies and gentlemen, if you could please be upstanding. everyone would you all like to be seated thank you do you want to put it on it oh. you're all right you can stand there as well <laughs> my name is elaine and the registrars overseeing the ceremony today are my colleagues julie and jillian and it is our very great pleasure to welcome you all to the wentbridge house hotel on this very special occasion for Martin and for Sarah, who are shortly to be joined together in marriage, confirming their love and commitment for one another. And you are the people that they have chosen to share their day with, and we know how much it means to them for you all to be here. Now before this ceremony can begin, there's an important question I must ask. Who gives Sarah to be married to Martin? I do. Thank you. Tony and Michael like to take a seat. Thank you. Now we begin our ceremony this, uh, this afternoon with a first reading entitled, If You Can Always. If you can always be as close and as happy as today, yet be secure enough to grow and change along the way. If you can keep for you alone your love as man and wife, yet find the time to share your joy with others in your life. If you can be as one, and walk through marriage hand in hand, yet still support the goals and dreams that each of you have planned. If you can dare to always go your separate ways together, then all the wonder of today will stay with you forever. Now this place in which we are now met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. We are here today to witness the joining in matrimony of Martin Graham Cartwright and Sarah Louise Proctor. And if any person present knows of any lawful reason why they may not be married to each other, you should declare it now. And children don't count, so that's fine. So we'll move on. Now Martin and Sarah found in each other happiness, fulfilment and love. And as a consequence of this, they now wish to affirm their relationship and to offer to each other the security which comes from legally binding vows, sincerely made and faithfully kept. The purpose of marriage is that you may always love, care for and support each other through the joys and sorrows of life. Marriage means making a commitment for life to developing, maintaining cooperation, friendship and mutual respect. And it calls for trust, understanding and encouragement. So Martin and Sarah, before you are joined in matrimony, I have to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows that you are about to make. Marriage in this country means the union of two people vol voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. And these vows will unite you as husband and wife and constitute a formal and public pledge of your love for each other. So I'm first going to ask each of you in turn to declare that you know of no reason why you should not be lawfully married to each other. So Martin, I didn't tell you this little bit, but you get to go first. Okay, aren't you lucky? One of the very few times that you get to get a word in first. <laughs> <laughs> so if you can repeat after me, I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. 
Yes, I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Martin Graham Cartwright. Why I, Martin Graham Cartwright. May not be joined. May not be joined. In matrimony. In matrimony. To Sarah Louise Proctor. To Sarah Louise Proctor. That was really well done. So it's your turn now. Set the bar quite high there, aren't I? <laughs> so if you can repeat after me, I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly de declare that I know not. That I know not of any lawful impediment. Of, <laughs> of any. Of any lawful, lawful impediment. impediment. Why I, Sarah Louise Proctor. Why I, Sarah Louise Proctor. May not be joined. May not be joined in matrimony. In matrimony to Martin Graham Cartwright. To Martin Graham Cartwright. Well done. So Martin and Sarah have chosen to make the following promises to one another. So Martin, I'm going to ask you two questions and the answer that I hope you're going to give me is I will. Okay. Martin, will you love and respect Sarah and comfort and care for her at all times? I will. Will you be honest with her and faithful and work with her to achieve the life you have planned together? I will. Thank you. So I'm going to ask you the same two questions and the answer is I will. Sarah, will you love and respect Martin and comfort and care for him at all times? I will. Will you be honest with him and faithful and work with him to achieve the life you have planned together? I will. So now the solemn moment has come for Martin and Sarah to make their marriage contract with each other in the presence of you, their witnesses. So would all the guests who are able please stand as you witness the contract of the marriage? If your dad wants to stay sat down, okay. just stay sat down if you want, you're right. Now if you two okay. can just turn to one another and holding hands, you're making these vows to one another, okay? Not to any of your guests or to me, but to one another, okay? So Martin, if you can go first again, please. Mm -hmm. I call upon... I call upon... These persons here present... These persons here present... To witness... To witness... That I, Martin Graham Cartwright... That I, Martin Graham Cartwright... <coughs> Do take thee, do take thee, Sarah Louise Proctor, Sarah Louise Proctor, to be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. From this day forward, from this day forward, I promise, I, I promise, to share my life with you, to share my life with you, to laugh with you, to laugh with you, to be proud of you, to be proud of you. Never yeah. take you for granted, never take you for granted. Always take care of you, always take care of you, and be faithful to you, and be faithful to you. And I promise to love you, and I promise to love you for the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. Well done. Now, Sarah, if you can repeat after me, okay? I call upon. I call upon these persons here present. These persons here present to witness. To witness that I, Sarah Louise Proctor. That I, Sarah Louise Proctor. Do take thee. Do take thee, Martin Graham Cartwright. Martin Graham Cartwright to be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. From this day forward. From this day forward, I promise, I promise to share my life with you, to share my life with you, to laugh with you, to laugh with you, to be proud of you, to be proud of you. Never take you for granted. Never take you for granted. Always take care of you. Always take care of you. And be faithful to, and you. Be faithful to you. And I promise to love you. And I promise to love you for the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. Thank you. That was lovely. Would all our guests like to be seated? Thank you. And we've now come to our second reading chosen by Martin and Sarah entitled The One. When the one whose hand you are holding is the one who holds your heart. When the one whose eyes you gaze into gives your hopes and dreams their start. When the one you think of first and last is the one who holds you tight. And the things you plan together makes the whole world seem just right. When the one whom you believe in puts their faith and trust in you. You've found the one and only love you'll share your whole life through. And now we come to the giving and receiving of the rings, which is the traditional way of sealing the marriage contract. This is the bit we've all been waiting for. <laughs> the wedding ring is an unbroken circle. It has no beginning and no end. It symbolises everlasting love and is an outward sign of the lifelong promises that you've just made to each other. And Mia is already here with the rings. <laughs> she couldn't wait. I didn't <laughs> if you've got those, Michael. 
Okay. <laughs> right, so Michael, if you can give Martin Sarah's ring first, thank you. Okay. And if you just bear with us until we do that little bit. So if you can put that on the third finger of the left hand, just up to the knuckle for now, <laughs> and just holding it in place, you can repeat after me. All that I have, all that I have, I share with you. I share with you. All that I am, all that I am, I give to you. I give to you. In love and in trust. In love and in trust. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And as a lasting reminder. As a lasting reminder. Of the promises. Of the promises. We have made today. We have made today. And then, if you'd like to put that all the way on, thank you. Wow. Not coming off. <laughs> Nearly got a broken finger there. <laughs> <laughs> right, if you can just give Sarah Martin's ring now, thank you. And thank you, Michael. Okay, and you can take a seat, thank you. <coughs> Third finger is left hand, just up to the knuckle for now and holding it in place. Repeat after me. All that I have, all that I, have I, share I share with you. All that I am, all that I, am I, give to you. I give to you in love and in trust. In love and in trust. I give you this ring as a sign of my love and as a lasting reminder of the promises we have made today. And then if you'd like to put all the way... Oh, that went on easy, didn't it? <laughs> right, now Martin and Sarah, the rings you, that you have exchanged are symbols of the commitment and care that you have promised to each other. You are also taking into your care and keeping the happiness of all the people who are most dear to you, as you are agreeing to share strength, responsibility and love with one another. So we've now come to our final reading, entitled how to be a good husband. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to invite Frankie to come forward to read this. Martin, Sarah, mm -hmm. good afternoon. Can you see me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'd like to read for you Stop. all a little piece entitled How to Be a Good Husband. Always endeavour to understand your wife, even when you don't. <laughs> Always admit that you're wrong. When mistakenly you thought you were right, <laughs> bring her flowers at least once a week as you're bound to have something to apologise for. <laughs> Accept and embrace your wife's bad habits and realise these are what make her so lovable. Don't ever question the need for a new pair of shoes. <laughs> never. And never suggest the sale or disposal of shoes, no matter how old they are. When your wife shows you unexpected affections, don't shoot away. Always remember though, there may be an ulterior motive. And finally for you both, tolerance is the key. It's the one thing that keeps couples together. And in the words, the famous words of Gloria Gaynor, you will survive. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thanks, Rebecca. You've been a good girl, well done. Now Martin and Sarah, this is the start of a new life for you together. We hope that the feelings of love and joy you share now will deepen and grow even stronger throughout the years to come and that this day will form a milestone in your lives to look back upon with much love and happiness. You have both made the declarations required by law and have made your own solemn promises to one another in my presence and in the presence of your family and friends gathered here today as witnesses. You have symbolised your marriage by the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings. So it now gives me very great pleasure to declare that you are lawfully joined together as husband and wife. And Martin, you know what bit comes next. Uh -huh. You may now kiss your beautiful bride. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations, you. you two. That was yeah. lovely. Uh, right, ladies and gentlemen, Martin and Sarah are just going to sign the register with Julie and Gillian. Talking loud, talking crazy. Knock me outside. It's true what they say I'm always late Say you need a little space I'm in your way It hurts But I remember every scar 
and I've learned when living is the hardest part. gentlemen if you can please be upstanding join me in a round of applause as I introduce to you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Cartwright. Mm -hmm. 